Hamilton. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So clearly you can see today we are in my kitchen and that is because we are going to be trying to make two different kinds of guinea pig and rabbit treats. I feel like I spend so much money on buying treats for them and it's usually things just like banana chips, dried strawberry, dried apple, and then baked treats from places like Small Pet Select, which I really like those treats, but I wanted to try making some myself just because it gets a little expensive buying those treats all the time. So I bought, probably can't see behind me, I have a food dehydrator that I bought, um, and then I'm also going to be using the oven, and I will walk you guys step by step through what I do, and at the end we'll see how the treats come out, and we'll do a taste test to see if the pets like them. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a recipe on Pinterest that um, I will pin on my Pinterest as well for you guys, and I also will be doing a whole blog post on listing the ingredients and exactly what I do for these, so you can always find those later if this video doesn't go over every single thing. I'm gonna be trying really hard to make sure that I show you everything I use, list everything, show you exactly what I'm doing, temperatures, and all that kind of thing. But just so you know, it will be on the website um, pretty soon. So you can always go back and find the recipes for what I made. So gonna use this recipe to do banana chips. We're gonna try those first. So I'm gonna start chopping up the bananas and we'll get started. Okay, so what I have here, obviously you can see my cutting board and my knife. I have three bananas, and these are pretty ripe. Um, they're a little bit brown, they're definitely ripe. Um, this, I believe, will give them more flavor if you let them get nice and ripe. And then I have the tray from my food dehydrator. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also do this in the oven, but I bought this dehydrator to try it out, so we're gonna do that. You can definitely look on Pinterest to try to find recipes on how to dry fruit in the oven. You definitely can do that, at least with apples. So let's go ahead and chop up these bananas and get them ready to go in a dehydrator. first row of my dehydrator filled out um, from what I was reading I've never used my dehydrator before so this is going to be an adventure in so many ways but when I was reading you don't want them touching you want them to be about a quarter of an inch thick um, you can soak them in like lemon juice or fruit juice or use fresh fruit to keep them from going brown when they're being dehydrated, but I figured since they were for the pets, that wouldn't be a huge deal. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe next time I will soak them in fruit juice first, but I'm gonna put this on the dehydrator and then cut up, I think one more banana, and then I'm gonna use the other banana to make the baked treats that are gonna go in the oven. So I think this will be a lot, or a good amount for a first try. All right, second tray of bananas is ready for the dehydrator. So I have the two trays of bananas on here. I put the lid on, plugged it in. It's the first time using this, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna set it to, I don't know if you can see this. There's like 131 there. Um, I want it to be at 138, so I'm gonna guess about there. I would guess that's 140 and that's 150 since it goes up to 158. So I'm going to put it about there. You can see that. And then just turn it on. And we will see how it goes. So I will tell you the recipe that I'm following. So you slice the bananas about a quarter inch thick. You can put in you can put it in lemon juice or um, put some fresh fruit on it, which is like a powder type thing that keeps your fruit from going brown. 
and then you dehydrate at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for about six to eight hours. So I'm going to set a timer on my phone so I know when six to eight hours has passed. Or actually, it's 9.58 right now, so it's 10 o'clock. So at four o'clock, I'll check them, and then it should be done between like four and six today. So I will let you guys see how that goes throughout the process. All right guys, so now we're gonna try the baked treats in the oven. So you can probably hear the food dehydrator going in the background. Those will be going until about six, or uh, between four and 6 p.m. tonight. So we're also gonna try to make some baked treats using, um, I have about a cup of pellets here. I have a banana and I have some carrot chips and then I have my food processor. So I'm just going to put these together somehow and show you guys what I do and we'll see how they turn out. Um, I looked up a couple of videos on YouTube of other people's DIY guinea pig and rabbit treats. So I kind of took those and I'm just gonna a little bit try my own recipe um, cause I don't really want to put oats in them. Um, so we will see how this goes, see how it turns out. These are the guinea pigs pellets. These are Sherwood adult guinea pig pellets. Um, I wanted to use the guinea pig pellets because they have the nutrients and vitamins for the guinea pigs and they are not going to hurt the bunnies. So just decided to use those instead of using the rabbit pellets to feed to the guinea pigs. So I am going to start off by, I'm going to put all of this, I'm not sure. Let's see how well these pellets do being ground up because I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Okay, so you can see I have my pellets all ground up, so I'm gonna put them into this bowl. No, they didn't get super well ground up, but this isn't the nicest uh, food processor in the world, so I'm not surprised. So we have these in here. Um, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of water in here. I just like turned the faucet on for like two seconds. I'm just gonna get a fork and mix it up a little bit. This isn't really, I just want the rest of the pellets that didn't get chopped up all the way to get more. I don't know. <laughs> Probably wasn't necessary at all. I just don't want big chunks of pellets to be in my treats, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's pellets. We're now gonna put what's left of this banana from the dried banana. I'm gonna put more banana in here. carrot mixed up together. I'm gonna pull the little blade guy out and then put this stuff into this bowl with the pellets. And I'm just gonna mix it all up. pretty good this is what it looks like it's a pretty good consistency so just to kind of recap what I did I used a whole banana 
I used probably like 10 to 15 carrot chips um, and then I used about a cup of pellets and I just mixed all of that, ground it all up in the food processor and then mixed the wet stuff in with the pellets and I did a tiny little bit of water, like maybe like a tablespoon of water. Um, and I feel like it's pretty good consistency. It packs together and it smells really good. It smells like bananas and pellets, which I like how the guinea pig pellets smell. But yeah, I think it's going pretty good so far. So I'm going to get the oven and the cookie sheet ready. Okay guys, so here we are at my oven. I'm just going to preheat it to 350. So that'll take a little bit of time. Just preheat to 350 and then we're gonna get the cookie sheet ready. Okay, so here's my cookie sheet. I'm just gonna take this piece of foil, put it on here. And then... Dishes are washed, area is cleaned up, and the oven just preheated. So we're gonna put these into the oven. So I put them in the oven for 20 minutes just because I'm not really sure how long they should go in. Um, there's kind of a range in the other YouTube recipes that I saw. So we're just gonna do 20 minutes and see how they go. All right guys, so the timer just went off for the treats in the oven, but I saw this on Stormy Rabbit's channel. Um, she had a rabbit treat DIY after she baked her treats, she left them in the oven while the oven cooled off. And I'm guessing that kind of works like, you know, the whole dehydration method um, that dries out the treats as they sit in the oven. This is what they look like. I definitely think they're done because it looks like it's a little bit burned on the edges. So I'm just going to leave them in the oven for probably... I don't know. I'm gonna leave them in the oven for a while and just come back and check on them and see how they feel and if I think I need to take them out. Um, and I will let you guys know how they turn out and how long I end up leaving them. All right guys, time for an update. So you can see I've taken the treats out of the oven. So I tried the whole thing where you leave them in the oven while the oven cools off and realized that I did not turn my oven off. So these were in the oven probably for an extra 15 minutes before I realized that I had not turned the oven temperature off. But so you can see they're a little burned on the edges, but the middle still feels pretty good. So I think we'll still get some good treats out of this, just maybe not as many as I had hoped. But I'm going to let this cool off for a bit and then I'm going to cut it up and then we can do a taste test with the pits later on today and see how they like them. So it is 11.30. I put these in at 10 o'clock so you can see, I don't know if you guys can see in there, they are getting a little bit dry and crispy on the edges. Um, I'm not gonna turn it off or open it or anything. I'm just gonna let these keep dehydrating because they're gonna keep doing this until four or five o'clock tonight. So, if you can see here, this ended up a little bit of a fail. Um, this is all loose from the bottom. So like if I pick this up, it's crumbling from the bottom. Um, I think the recipe is fine. I think what happened is I made it too thick in the middle. 
because like some of these are fine and like the top layer is good so I really think I just made this way too thick in the middle so I think if I had a much thinner layer and did it for the 25 minutes in the oven I think it would have worked really well so the next time I try these I'm gonna do another video on this and see if it comes out any better but I did get some treats out of this um, some of these are good, so we're going to take some of these and go see what the pets think. Okay, it's about 2 p.m. and I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but the bananas are definitely getting dried out. So hopefully this is a successful part of our DIY treats. You want to try a treat, buddy? You want to try a treat? That good? Oh, I think that's a win with Mr. Mike. Look at that. Oh, sorry. I think Mr. Mike likes them. Try some treats. Here you go. Kelly Pig, you want to try some? You're all right. Hey babe, you wanna try some? Hey, Lily Fluff, you wanna try some? So I tried again with a different recipe in a much thinner layer. So I did actually turn off the oven this time and I am just letting those stay in there until the oven cools off because they're still kind of wet in the middle and I think that'll help it dry off without burning. So I'm going to leave those in there until they cool off later and then I'll show you if they were any better than the first batch. So you can see from the second batch, I actually got quite a few. Um, they're not perfect by any means. Um, they're still pretty crumbly. They didn't get dry all the way through. So I'm not sure what to do at this point other than maybe add oats or hay. Um, I'm going to try again and make another video on this whenever I get around to doing that. But I mean, definitely wasn't a fail. Definitely have some treats for the babes. So. It's a win fail? I don't know. I definitely got some treats out of it, so I guess that's a win. Hey guys, so it is um, just after four o'clock. I just stopped my dehydrator and I pulled a couple of the banana chips off and I definitely think they are done. So I definitely think they're done. They're nice and dried out. Um, the rule of thumb I saw online was if you can fold one in half and it doesn't stick to itself. So I definitely think these are done. So they look pretty good. So I'm going to take these that I pulled off and go see what the pets think. So the girls are having floor time right now. Let's see what they think. You want banana chip? So I think that's a win with Bell Pig. Oh, Lily took it too. You want one, Callie Pig? She doesn't really like banana snacks, so I don't know if she's gonna care. All 
All right. This is a good. Oh, Mr. Andy liked it. You want one, Mikey Mike? Come here, buddy. Mr. Andy chomped that down. Mr. Mikey, you want a snack? Hey, hey, long bun. Do you want a snack? Says I sure do, Mom. Is that a winner? He loves banana chips. So he is the real judge. Is that good, Bubba? I think they're a winner. And then here are my banana chips that are done. I'm just gonna pull all of these off and put them in a baggie or container so that they keep well. And that is pretty much our homemade treats attempt video. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my somewhat successful attempt at making homemade guinea pig and rabbit treats. Like I said, there will be a blog post on this, though I don't know when or how that's going to be coming since the recipe didn't really work out how I wanted, but there will be a blog post along with this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We make new pet videos every week and always have a new video on Friday. You also can find our website, um, which is thetinyherd.com. We are on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all of those are um, at the tiny herd and that is everywhere that you can find us. I think that's all I got for today's video. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.